Mastering the Art of Customized Test Preparation in English Learning. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very special topic that can make a world of difference in your English test preparation. We'll discuss adapting sample questions and tests for specific learning needs. So, if you've ever felt like practice tests and questions aren't quite hitting the mark for you, stay tuned. First things first, why are sample questions and tests so important? They serve as a preview of what's to come and give you a sense of the test format, the types of questions you'll encounter, and the areas where you might need improvement. But not all sample questions are created equal, and they may not be perfect for your unique learning style or needs. That brings us to our next section. Before you can adapt sample questions to suit you, it's crucial to identify your specific learning needs. Are you a visual learner or an auditory one? Do you struggle with reading comprehension or find listening sections more challenging? By pinpointing your strengths and weaknesses, you'll be better equipped to choose or adapt sample questions that focus on your areas for improvement. Once you understand your learning needs, it's time to select sample questions and tests that align with them. But what if you can't find the perfect fit? Don't worry, there are ways to adapt existing materials. If you're a visual learner, consider transforming text-heavy questions into visual formats. For example, if a question asks you to describe an event, you could sketch a quick storyboard or mind map before writing your answer. This can help solidify the information in your mind. For auditory learners, listening to the questions or reading them out loud can be incredibly beneficial. You might even try recording yourself reading the question and the possible answers. Then listen to the recording a few times before making your choice. This way, you're engaging your auditory skills even when practicing reading or writing questions. If you're a kinesthetic learner who learns best by doing, try acting out scenarios especially for speaking or writing tasks. For example, if you have to write an email as part of the test, actually go through the process of composing an email on your computer before transferring your answer to the sample test. Finally, it's essential to not only play to your strengths but also directly tackle your weaknesses. If vocabulary is your weak point, for instance, use flashcards or spaced repetition techniques alongside your sample questions to cement those tricky words in your memory. Alright, folks, that wraps up today's session on adapting sample questions and tests to fit your unique learning needs. By taking these steps, you're not just practicing. You're practicing smarter. We hope you found this information useful and that it helps you ace your next English exam. Until next time, happy studying!